everyone welcome back to our channel so friends today i'm going to give you 10 tips on how to deal with cold cough and fever in your babies infants and toddlers as usual we will be having our golden tips in the middle of the video so make sure you watch the video until the end and do not forget to hit the like button if you really like this video and hey i'm going to come live once again on 28th of November, that's a Saturday at 5 p.m. Indian Standard Time. So I'll see you all there. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because we are a fabulous family over here and I would love to have you. So with that further ado, let's get straight into this video. The first most important thing is camphor. It's also known as Karpuram in Telugu. Uh, I think Karpur in Hindi, I'm not sure. So camphor is one of the most important uh, thing that you can use while your baby is having cold and cough and fever because it has medicinal properties. It creates a lot of heat in the body and relaxes your baby, soothes your baby. As you all know, Vicks inhaler, it has camphor in it too. So that aroma, it really relaxes us and clears our blocked nose. So this is a very special technique that my mother has taught me. I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. So you have to take a tiny bit of Vicks. I'm using baby Vicks over here. So use that Vicks and try to crumple the camphor, um, a small bit of camphor, crumple that. And then you gently mix that and here you go. Your mixture is ready. You can repeat the same process with coconut oil. Take tiny two to three drops of coconut oil and then mix the camphor powder in that and then you can straight apply it to your baby. So when you apply it to your baby, make sure you apply it to the chest in the front as well as the back. And if there is any more mixture left, you can straight apply it to the feet as well. Coconut oil is said to have a lot of heating properties so that gives a lot of warmth to the body during winters. I'm using this every day especially during bedtime for all of to feel very comfortable and cozy. Most important point is using saline drops. Yes, saline drops usually you know all the dry nose and the blocked nose that they have it helps to clear that. So it's usually recommended by doctors to use this when your baby is having blocked nose. So you can use the saline drops throughout the day. Um, whenever you feel that your baby is having blocked nose and is having difficulty in breathing, you can use saline drops. So there's no particular number of drops or number of times that you can use. You can use this any number of times. And there is a special technique here. So here comes our golden tip number one, how to use um, saline drops. So usually saline drops, you don't have to put that drop by drop in your baby's nose. Actually, this is taught by my doctor. Uh, so you have to press the saline bottle in order to release the saline water like a fountain. So when you put that in your baby's nostril and push it, that will go inside like a fountain. So babies, we know they are quite, quite cranky and fussy when you are doing that, but no problem. Take somebody's help, hold the head tightly, put that saline, uh, that nozzle in the nostril and then press it. When you press, that will go straight inside and it's going to clear that uh, that blocked nose, whatever they get. Yeah, yes. I have personally used is uh, Samrani in Telugu, Dhub in Hindi and this in English. <laughs> I don't know how to really prove benzoin. So soon after your baby's bath, you can just put this camp, uh, Sambrani all around the house. It gives a lot of sweet uh, uh, flavor and it's very, very good to, you know, when you inhale, it relaxes your body and soothes your body. So that's very important. Do try it. The next most important uh, thing that I have used personally to deal with blocked nose is nebulizer. Yes, it's not a big thing. You know, my father really gets afraid of nebulizer because the mask and the machine and the tubes, it looks horrendous. But actually, I understood that it's not of a big deal and it's 
not very expensive to purchase also i think it's around three thousand or four thousand so i think once i you know the investment is good one you're just purchasing, purchasing it only for one so that's not a big deal so uh, we are using nebulizer three times a day we are putting saline water 5 ml saline water in that nebulizer just saline water no medication in that and when we are giving that don't put on the mask as such to your baby because you know, they will feel you know you're doing something to them just hold it at a certain distance so that they feel comfortable and engage them in something else if they like to watch a video you go on with that if they like to play let them play just let them get habituated to it at least a little farther that would suffice Nebulizer has helped us greatly in dealing with blocked nose. Is using warm clothes. This is a very obvious tip. There is nothing new that I have to tell. Use sweaters, mufflers, caps, socks, mittens, kittens, everything that you get and blankets. Make sure you keep your baby very cozy and warm during this winter time. It's time for a golden tip. I know this is a very, very simple tip, but sometimes you often forget it. That is applying Vicks or any petroleum jelly to your baby's feet and put on socks while they're sleeping. This gives a lot of heat and comfort in their feet while they're sleeping and they can have a good sleepover throughout the night. If you come so far in this video, please hit the like button. The next tip is have a lot of exposure to sunlight. So whatever the little sunlight that you are having during the day, you please utilize it, take your baby out and make sure you cover your baby properly. Uh, like you have a sweater, a head cap and you know, socks and everything. And then you take them to a place where there's adequate sunlight and avoid cold breeze. Whenever you're out, make sure uh, the cold breeze doesn't enter their nostrils or ears. So that's a fantastic tip by that. The next important one is giving warm liquids whether it be water or milk or anything, I'm not telling you to heat it up into boil, just lukewarm so that they feel really, like how you like drinking coffee during cold times, it's the same with the babies. They want to drink something very warm because it's very cold. So try to heat up milk a little bit. If you're using formula milk, just you know heat up the water a little bit, like lukewarm water, and then you can give that. Is avoid anything cold. Cold is a no-no during winter. It's absolute heaven during summers, but a disaster during winters. Cold air, cold drinks, cold weather, anything cold. And don't also stress your baby to frequently give them baths outside. If you're having a space which doesn't have a lot of cold breeze, of course you can go and give. I usually give olive bath outside in the out yard so there's a lot of cold air so I don't give her regular bath in winters I give alternate days or once in every two days I don't pressurize in uh, being obsessed of giving bath every day because already she is having cold and cough and there is no much need of having that give a sponge bath with warm water with adding a little bit of Dettol or Savlon in that that would be fine yes. adequate rest Yes, rest is most important for your baby to feel relaxed and just, you know, settle down and feel comfortable. So don't disturb, don't stimulate them a lot. And I have also observed that whenever they are having fever, cold or cough, they're sleeping a lot. Olive sleeps a lot. Uh, I don't know, because maybe she's feeling warm or she's tired or maybe because of medication. I don't know. But she sleeps a lot during winters. And it's better not to disturb them. Let them have their sleep. Last but not the least, not at all the least, the most, most, most important tip is take advice from your doctor. Use medications. Home remedies are good, but only up to a certain point, not beyond. So don't stress yourself and your baby that, you know, the cold has to go away by itself only by, uh, only by home remedies. No, it's not going to happen like that. If you are going to delay the process, if you are going to delay the medication, you know, that will, you know, aggravate and the severity of the cold and cough will increase and your baby has to use more medication. So to avoid that, you know, try to use home remedies for a couple of days and if it doesn't go, please consult your doctor. They'll be giving you 
gentle medications that will just ease your baby. They, uh, for Olive, we have used antibiotics and we have also used saline. We have also used nebulizer. So that's it for this video. I hope it was informative and useful. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like this video, please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And if you have any further tips that you want to share with us, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love to read them and follow them. I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself and take care of our little ones too. Bye-bye.